Chief, what can I do against eyewitness testimony? You've got the evidence in the court record, right? Find a contradiction and raise an objection. Got it. Wait, do what now? If your client's innocent, this testimony's fiction. So check your court record for the contradiction. It's time to take control. Stories clearly phony. Present something to poke a hole in the testimony. I see. Witnesses clearly lying to throw you off your case. Find the contradiction to Robin Christmas case. And after you have made your careful selection, present evidence as your aid and death. Objection! So let me get this straight, Mr. Sawit. You looked into the apartment and saw that the woman was dead. How did you know? She may have just been unconscious. Well, I mean, she was lying completely still on the floor, and there was blood everywhere. Blood? Everywhere? It was obvious she was gone. I was too afraid to move. I couldn't even go inside. I was completely frozen. In fear. He didn't go inside? That's probably the fastest contradiction I ever heard. Then you've got to point it out, right? What you need to achieve is to grab the court's attention. In order to make them believe, you must create some tension. How dare the witness tell a lie while being on the stand? Look him in the eye and bang your desk loudly with your hand. Hold it! You say you didn't go inside. How did you know the phone wasn't working? Uh, uh, you see, the phone was on the shelf next to the door. I never went inside. I didn't go any further than the doorway. You're getting closer, right? Don't let him slither between your fingers. Like I said, I found her exactly at 1 p.m., found out her phone didn't work, and went to the park to call. You say you found her dead at 1 o'clock? You've got it right. Congratulations. What? I don't understand. This testimony clearly condemns your client. Give me the chair! Autopsy report plainly states that the victim's time of death was 4 p.m. Care to explain uh, this three-hour uh, gap? I don't understand. I was absolutely sure it was 1 o'clock. 4? That's impossible. I heard the time. Excuse me? How did you hear the time? Uh, it must have been on the uh, radio uh, television show that announced it. TV show? During the blackout? Uh, I must have... must have made some kind of mistake. I remember wrong. You're right. I didn't hear the time. I saw the time. On the murder weapon. The clock. Clock? Witness, the murder weapon was a statue, not- And again, you are wrong, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon is indeed a clock. It says the time allowed. I didn't bring it up because I thought it was a necessary detail. Mr. Wright, it appears your argument is moot. Do you have anything to add? And at last, this case finally begins to unwind. You know what to do, right? Let's do it, Chief. Witnesses clearly lying to throw you off your case. I'll find a contradiction to rub and kiss my face. And after you have made your careful selection, I'll present evidence as your hate and yell, yell, yell. Objection!